here in my garage. Just bought this uh, new Lamborghini here. It's fun to drive up here in the Hollywood Hills. Hi again everyone, as you can see I'm here in my garage again. <laughs> uh, so I'm just doing a quick video about another stock which I think is worth watching this morning and the next couple of days. Um, it's obviously one that's been in the uh, attention of trades for a little bit and that's being Hellbiz or HLBZ is the ticker symbol. Um, I don't know a lot about the company other than I know that their financial situation is not that strong. Now. I'm talking about this company obviously because they are being looked at in the same light as Genius Group or Genius uh, Stock, the company that has uh, very publicly gone out against naked short sellers um, and as a result has had a huge rally which seems to like, you know, possibly still be going. Um, now, I think what Genius Group has done here is they've actually started a bit of a trend, uh, not just uh, with companies of particularly micro cap stocks looking to uh, have their boards come after naked shorts as a way of like propping up the stock but um, it's also encouraging the whole retail scene like, i've talked about yesterday how mullen automotive has started a petition to um you know try and get their board to take a similar stance or action against potential naked shorts in the stock um obviously i think underlying it is just, uh hope to really bolster some crazy sugar rush in the in the stock um you know, I, I thought I'd talk about Helbiz really quickly, um, or HLBZ. Uh, so I know their financials aren't solid. They um, have been losing a lot of money. I know obviously Genius Group has done the same, but I think Genius Group sounds like they're actually in a much better spot financially. Um, and the other thing that's worth noting about um, Helbiz is they've actually received a delisting warning uh, on the NASDAQ. You have to trade um, above the $1 mark consistently. Uh, so they have received a warning. It doesn't necessarily mean that they are going to uh, get delisted, but it's, like it's a warning that they have to get their stock back up to that one dollar price point. Um, so they and they are kind of far from that mark. So you, we could see some um, if they can't rally above the one dollar mark, uh, you could see this one actually quite quite easily collapse. I think uh, because there is that uh, underlying threat. But in saying that, it's going pretty gangbusters. Like this. The, the board came out on um, Friday last week to say that they are also going to pursue uh, an investigation into naked shorting in the stocks and stock price manipulation. Um, and they've had a similar sugar rush. Like yesterday and Monday, they went up by uh, about 100%. And I think between Friday and Monday, their stock price has basically tripled. Uh, it's still very much in that penny stock territory. I think it was like about 43 cents per share. Pre-market, I just saw that they are up uh, about 5% per share at the moment. So there's still a lot of hype in the stock. It's like Genius Group, they are amongst the most talked about stocks on um, the in the retail scene on, on Reddit. And you know that I think they're ranked fourth and fifth, those two stocks together. But Hellbiz is getting a lot more mentions. And I think the reason why is because it is uh, still a much lower entry price right now. It's still only around 40 cents, 43 cents a share or something like that. So I think that it is one to keep an eye on. Um, I think, in terms of where it could go long term, it's I don't think it's going to be um, as successful as Genius Group, but I think they were kind of like the first mover to tap into that major um, retail swing that's happening. So I, I think we could see this one actually go uh, quite some some way. Now, obviously, what I'm saying here is not investing advice. This is very high risk uh, jumping on these stocks, but um, such as the times at the moment, there's a bit of a um, a squeeze season of sorts going, I guess you could say. And I think this is one that, you know, if you are looking um, at, you know, a potential day trade or jumping into it, uh, it's one to potentially consider. So obviously the stock could go up, the stock could go down. I get these things wrong. So you can't really tell which way it's going to go. But if you are, you know, aware of the stock um, and you have your eyes on it as the market opens up, you're able to jump into whatever trend is happening early on. Um, so, you know, knowledge is power. Uh, here in my garage, knowledge, anyway, uh, stupid video. I just thought I'd chuck it up there because I think it's worth talking about this stock. Um, yeah, anyway, cool. Let me know your thoughts on Helbiz in the uh, comments below. Um, are you jumping on the trade this or are you more dedicated to the genius stock or are you just staying away from these sort of trades altogether? Uh, look forward to hearing from you all. Um, may the market's trade in your favour. Cheers.